hello welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today I'm going to be working on a fairly easy project I've been away for a couple days if anyone watched my last video um, I had mentioned that my dad was having hip surgery so that took place a couple days ago and all is doing well home resting mending um, therapy all that fun stuff so um, all is good so I since I haven't done a video in about three maybe four days I want to do something easy uh, just to get myself back in the swing of things so um, I saw a video on uh, maybe not exactly this very similar to this um, I was kind of watching stuff at the hospital I'm <laughs> um, half watching half not so um, this is a take away from that so not my original idea um, but my my version of it so what this is is um, just uh, easy uh, pocket up here pocket here and then when added to the page um, put a pocket back here and they are just made from index cards um, so I have a version that I'm gonna make with these smaller index cards which are um, five by three and then I'm gonna make another version where I'm also going to be using um, four by six now the index cards I did get from the dollar tree dollar and a quarter tree um, I mean the packs that you get probably there's a couple hundred in each one for dollar twenty-five, so um, they, they go a really long way. So I think they're a great investment to have on hand. Um, they're they're definitely thin, but um, you can use so many things for them. Um, and I figured I would um, uh, do this, so you can see that that is the back, but it's going to be glued down for that. So I'm going to show you how um, I made this. All right, so we're going to start by scoring this. Uh, front card is uh, scored uh, um, scored up so that we can have a pocket in the front. Now I did score it at the three um, so that the card would be as just as tall as that. So we are going to score it at three inches. Um, now you could fold this either way you wanted to. Um, on this one I folded it with the white on the inside and put the lines on the outside and I did cover it with paper here um, if you wanted the lines showing and you wanted to have white and cover it in here um, you can do that also and I think I might do that this way as I lost my bone folder <laughs> just a tad off there we go I'm gonna do that one this way this one I am gonna attach this way though so it's white now I did also on these go around with uh, some ink for it um, you can do that you don't have to um, I also put a little bit of a divot thing thumb hole come on center just tiny because it's not a big big pocket I was originally thinking of putting one there, but then you're putting it through the two layers and it doesn't work so well. Not the right, right thing to do. So um, I did not put one um, sideways for that. Now for my version um, on here, that out, um, I added some of my uh, stamped washi tape that I've made and I will link the video in the bottom now obviously if you don't have stamped washi tape um, you can go ahead and um, just take any old stamp you want and um, stamp it um, add some paper to it I'm, um, however you want or just leave it plain if you wanted to just have um, pockets like that so for this card I'm going to add some more washi tape just to show you Get this out of the way here just to show how I did that so here is one of my strips of my washi tapes that I pre-made and this is gonna go into my um, this is gonna this one that I did here is gonna go into my bee journal that I'm gonna make that has flowers on it but this one I think I might make to see if I add to um, my waterfall journal which is more grungy so I think I might, I think I might. Oh, and by the way, I found my little scissors. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning here. Um, as I was searching for stuff recently, I tracked them down. So yay, yay for me. All right, all right, I'm gonna, I wanna keep this phone thingy. 
just going to cut it below here. And I'm going to save that because yeah, you never know where you're going to put something like that. And let's see. This is going to go like right above the diamonds. Okay. So I will reattach that and save that for a future date. Now this stuff is kind of um, been stuck, unstuck. Um, it was a masking tape to start, but it definitely has gotten unsticky. So I'm going to throw some glue on it just to help it out. It's kind of like a, since, since it is kind of a full washi tape, um, like other washi tapes, I like to add extra glue to it just to make sure it's fitting fine. All right, so Leave a little bit of the end where it was grunged and a little bit in. And I think I'll throw a little grunge on that side because make sure it is done. All right. I'll just trim a little bit of the excess off the back there. Just a Oh, so close. Okay. Yeah, I like that phone. That phone's cute. Okay. All right, so that is for the back card. Now, for this front one, I am going to add some, uh, some sort of paper to it. That could be fun. Okay, let's do that. We don't need to go all the way down because it folds up, so I'm going to save that. And maybe I'll just glue it and wrap it. Yeah, okay. That little part is not worth saving, so I'm not going to cut it. So there's that little pocket, and there we go. Now, there's two ways of closing this pocket. You can either um, put glue in there or um, washi tape. Um, I've decided to throw some washi tape on there on the sides to make the pocket um, a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'm not totally happy with that white now, how it is. I don't know. I was thinking that I would just when the decorations go on and maybe it'll still be okay. We'll see. All right. Now for the washi tape, I just wanted to go um, over the pocket. So I'm going to put it on the side here and close it down. Snip off the bottom. Okay. Same with this side. Probably should have added some glue, but a little late now. Okay. And we'll roll that over. Now I could add some washi tape on the bottom to add a little decoration. And I think I might do that. Oops. Now I don't want to put it over this side because when I put it on here, um, we need to have it for the pocket. So. And you know, now that I'm looking at it, maybe what I'll do is I'm going to glue this down, this side and this side, and then use the washi tape for the third side. So it's just a hair bigger. Okay, now this side. 
crafting on the fly. Okay, put that in place. All right, now we'll take this. And since we're, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be an actual sealant for the pocket, I'm gonna definitely throw some glue on there. Okay. All right, so I don't want it to go over the edge. there we go there is the pocket so it will fit um, not huge tags but um, it'll fit this kind of size in here this is I think two and a half um, yeah, it's a little shy of two and a half um, probably would have fit a two and a half and same uh, with this side so uh, this tag is approximately two and a half by four and a quarter odd size um, What's this one? Uh, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And that fits in here without a problem. And fits in there without a problem. So um, definitely can get some fairly good size uh, tags in there. And then when um, you glue it to the page, you glue it to the page, you can have um, another journal card uh, back there. Put that in there and put that in there. So cute. So when I get my book ready for this, um, I will glue it um, on three sides. Very cute. Okay. Um, when I figure out which page I'm going to put it in, I'll figure out what to decorate there. But this, uh, a nice uh, label will go right there. That won't be a problem to decorate. I can keep that just like it is. Um, I think it looks good. So, okay. That one is done. All right, so the second one I'm going to make, I'm going to use um, a bigger one, uh, the four by six and the three and a half by five. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, a, just a little bit different from this, um, is um, score both of them. So I'm going to uh, grab um, that and we're going to go ahead and score this. Okay, scoreboard. Let's get the glue out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna score each of these at one inch. Um, I'm gonna score this one um, at the one inch mark so that it is four inches. Whoops, don't, I'm sorry. Four inches, which is the width of this. So this is gonna be a four inch. And I'm just gonna do this one inch mark there because most of my books, when you fold the eight and a half by 11 in, and you fold the regular book page eight and a half by 11 in half, the 11 and a half is five and a half. So if you had a six inch long pocket, it probably wouldn't fit into most journals. Um, but if I um, scored at the one inch, it is now a five inch pocket um, and it's gonna better fit into um, journals. So. That is why I did it. Now, obviously, if you had a big one, it's not necessary to do for the pocket, but it is just to help it um, look better. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it this way. Keep the white there. And I am gonna uh, throw some paper on this one on the inside here. Um, I am gonna make it to be for the waterfall journal which has some people in there so um, I think I'll throw that in there this one that I did here is going to go here. Get that out of here so this one's going to get glued here I'm going to have a small tuck there um, a bigger tuck there okay but like I said I think I'm going to I think I'm going to fill this um, page that could be more well, let's 
do that here. Okay, let's do that one here. We'll do that one there. Just too similar, but well, well, that's like almost the same size that way. <laughs> Small world, boy, it's just shy of six, isn't it? That could work. Cut it down there, and just have the typo, a little bit of room to decorate. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I am going to heavily ink around this because it's just, that was just shy of the six inches. I'm really kind of, I'm kind of replacing the sides or creating new sides. Like a vignette almost. I want to glue that on. Yeah, you can won't be able to tell too much that it's that it is off. So okay. Let's glue this down. going right there <laughs> okay that's not too bad okay all right now for this one I wanted a glue page there so you are too small now but you would have been kind of cute there I glue that and add some washi tape there. Kind of define the two inches. What if I do that? Let's see, what would that look like? Nah, not a fan. Not a fan. All right, let's go back to my first thought. I'm just having that bank in the corner. Okay. Again, just so it's not off. Okay. Don't stick. Now, if you don't have index cards. It is not a necessity to make these pockets this way, obviously. Um, you could definitely cut pieces of paper, scrap of paper, cardstock, that were four by six and uh, five by three, and make your own little pockets. So it's really not about um, using, uh, making pockets as much as it is about uh, using cheap index cards for a base. That's gonna be cute. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what to do there. Um, I think I need more of a pop of color than that for sure. And I don't necessarily want all right 
I will pick, I think. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's see if there's something in here. That would work. That would probably be kind of fun. A little pop of color in there. That would work. It's almost the right size. But... Okay, one of these needs to work. Get out of the way. That is kind of fun. I like that color. But I definitely like that. On there too. I'm going to use that because I could always use that as a ticket. Or right, this is more of all right. Then I'm going to glue it on and then trim it off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, sometimes it's just good to have stuff grabbed and only have a few choices then to have buckets of choices available. So, um, I tucked this one behind here um, because I didn't want it to go behind here and block this side. Um, so I, but I did wrap this around this side because that is fine. Um, I could have easily just went through and snipped um, everything off, but there was glue on there, and uh, my theory is, um, if it folds over, it gives a little extra strength. Then um, go for it. Something that tiny is not going to fold over, so cut it off. Okay. So, like I said, um, that was kind of open. I could still keep it open as like a side tuck, but I'm going to close it. Put that there. This side, since it's wrapped around, will not need glue for that. So, leaves it just a little bit bigger than um, for the pocket. Especially since it's kind of more like not really a pocket, but more just like a... Uh, a little baby tuck, which will work because um, little baby tuck items. Um, I wonder if I have got my little my little tags I made. Oh, I got a person. Let's see if that one will work. Yeah, that could work. Stick that in there too. But this needs to be needs to be trimmed just a hair. And got a little white showing on those two sides. All right, let's let's use the tiny scissors to nip the corners this time instead of those ginormous scissors that I was using for a few days. Okay, yay, little scissors. Really thought I was gonna have to go buy. A replacement pair, but yay, don't have to. 
Yeah, that'll be cute. Okay, I'm gonna take this out though so I can glue this down. All right, so uh, since I folded this here, um, I am going to just um, glue the two sides down ever so slightly so the side um, doesn't um, come out from in there. And then I'm gonna glue this um, to that completely. So this is gonna, this is gonna need to be glued here. And this is gonna need to be glued across the top and the bottom. I probably didn't have to put it on that side because all that glue is there, but. All right, I'm gonna just throw some in the center here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, give that a second to dry. Now, um, as I was looking at it, I could definitely um, uh, round those quarters if I wanted to. Let me grab um, a book here. Okay, idea book. So, like I said, most of these pages are um, like I said, eight and a half by 11, fold it in half. So um, to put, let me find one for sure, that is, that one looks a little bit bigger. And da, da, da. there we go. This is definitely a coffee dyed uh, copy paper. So um, eight and a half by 11, it's gonna fit beautifully for the big one. Um, now, if I wanted to uh, round the corners, I could on these, um, but since um, they're gonna be glued in straight, I probably would not do that. Um, now you can take this same, uh, card and put it this way if you wanted to have the tags um, uh, going up and the tag going sideways um, if you had an even skinnier page um, but this works um, beautifully for that so that is again why I made that size um, I folded the bottom one down to be uh, five inches okay now I think that is glued pretty good. So I'm going to, now I could um, nip this one because it is not, um, what you wanna call it? It is not overlapping like that first one. So we'll just take a little nip out of there. Should have done it before, but all good. And this seems to be coming up just ever so slightly. So we're gonna throw a little bit more glue here. Okay, all right, so let's see. I do have a couple items I could decorate um, for this. I have this uh, journal card. I don't wanna squish that in there, yes. Um, that can go in there. Decorate that. I've got this um, library card, which would look really cute in there. That would go in there too. Well, that's cute. Well, that's all decorated and ready to go. I guess I just need to decorate this one. <laughs> okay. Now that my fingers are sufficiently stuck in there. Okay, that will should work, but I think I just in case I think I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna trim it just a little bit just because I can't fully test if that's gonna slide in there without a problem. And that should have no problem. So I'm just gonna re-round the corners, let's see, did I do the big one? No, I did the medium one, okay. Okay, Bring around the corners and throw a little distress on the outside. These I made for my uh, advertisement, um, old um, advertisement, I made a 
masterboard. Um, there's actually on my coffee account is um, uh, some freebie uh, pages of the advertisements if you want to check it out. They're fun to use because um, they're definitely quirky. I can't get this back in. Okay, um, they're fun to use. So, all right. There's some of that signature on there, but I'm thinking I, as I have a person over here, maybe another person over here would be fun. So, I'll take a little girl on the tag. So, do we want a, a boy or? They look too formal. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but they look too formal for that. Well, let's see. Those girls have Headbands on similar dress like that one is. That would probably be kind of cute. I'm gonna tie them together. With the signatures. Oh, that would be cute. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Carefully rip these a little bit. And leave myself much room to tear that. to the end so I don't have to rip that one because that is a little bit uh, too close to the signature. All right, so I'll glue that there and then I'll put my our little girls right there. I kind of like how that coffee stand ended up being kind of like a, a ring around their head. Uh, maybe I'll put a tape down there just to give them more of a landing spot. Yeah, I think that'll work. Or I'll give a motto. I give a motto kind of like they have a motto for the little group. Okay. Let's, let's do it. I say let's do it. Okay. I love when you find something and it ends up being like kind of fun, like you were not expected and, um, yeah, like wasn't expecting to have the little ring for their heads or something that signatures and I think I'll have this wrap around too okay so yeah fun stuff I mean if it can't be fun then why why are we doing it right get over there okay look it landed right in a coffee stain <laughs> seriously like you, you can't plan this any better I put the coffee stains on a long time ago Guess they're gonna cover up the word motto. That's okay. It's okay. I like the little number there. Okay. We're gonna use the glitter glue for them because they're a little thicker. They look like they got little um mermaid tails with their two feet together. <laughs> Oops, brought a whole bunch of stuff with me. <laughs> okay, 
There we go. Okay. Well, I mean, I think that's good enough to go, right? Yeah, that's super cute. I definitely like it. Okay. I wonder if we can put that there. Oh, we definitely could put that there. Okay. Once again, a plan comes together when you're least expecting it. Just cover that notch up. Yeah, I'll cover the notch up. And then this can go right down here with the date showing. Yep, that's what we're going to do. definitely tell there's a pocket there because it changes its appearance of um, papers so so I'm going to use the glitter glue for this one. Yeah, cute. Now, I haven't made any tags for that yet. I wonder if there's... I forget which ones go where. The flowers, you're going to go there. Could put that one here. So we see that little train a little bit more, right? Yeah. No need to go more than that, right? Book stall. You know, sometimes, Lisa, you just do it without realizing it. Book stall, library book card. Crazy. Okay. Not sure why there's flowers there, but hey, it can't all work, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, with that bit of whimsy luck at the end, I am going to call this uh, video done. Put my glue uh, pin back together here before I forget. And... Um, all right, well, that was a, a nice project to get me back into the swing of things. Uh, my plan this week is to definitely start putting um, ephemera into my waterfall journal um, and to find a cover to make my bee journal is the two top things on my priority. And once I get the bee journal um, put together to start decorating that. So uh, those are on my things to do list for this week. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and would like to see some future projects, um, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when uh, videos come up. Um, if you like the video, a thumbs up would be great. Uh, any comments you have, uh, questions about the uh, product, the items, how I did it, or um, ideas of future videos, I'm always up for that. Willing to take on that stuff would be awesome. 
So as usual, um, I appreciate everyone stopping by today and have a lovely, wonderful, creative day. Bye now.